I'm the Grow Boss, I write the Grow Book and Equipment Guide, and in this video we're going to examine the relationship between yield and space, because there seems to be a lot of confusion about how much weight you should be getting. Now, this is a five-part series. There are four short videos like this one, and one long version too. And I'm telling you that because the short versions are not as in-depth as the long one. And if you want to hear the reasoning behind some of the things I say, well, you'll have to watch that one. Anyway, I think the best place for us to start is to first define the problem as it comes in my store and calls my helpline, and then we'll go over some examples. Okay, the number one question you guys usually ask is, how much light do I need? And I just want you to understand that I can't answer that without knowing how much space you have and how much yield you want. Before we start, please, don't even quote me what you read on manufacturer websites because they tell you all sorts of whack shit from putting your lights 24 inches over your plants to putting 1000 watt lights in 400 watt spaces. So I'm only here to tell you what I know from doing this and from helping thousands of customers do this. So let's talk about average yield and how much space is required to grow that. For instance, if you have a 400 watt HPS flower light, you can grow, on average, a pound and a half of wet bud, which requires a 2 by 4 space 2 feet deep. Remember, 1 and a half pounds wet is a half pound dry, so a 400 watt light, on average, will get you a half pound of dry bud. Notice, I didn't tell you how often you are going to get that weight though, and that's because I can't because I don't know if you have a one, two, or three light rotation, right? Okay, 600 watts is twice as bright as 400 watts, which means you're going to get twice the yield, but you're also going to need twice the space. After all, you can't grow three pounds wet where only one and a half will fit. And finally, if this 2x4 is enough for a half pound, and this 4x4 is enough for one pound, then we're going to need a 4x6 or a 5x5 space for the 1000 watt light, because it's three times brighter than a 400 watt, so you're going to need three times the space if you're going to get three times the yield. Okay, I'm the Grow Boss. I write the Grow Book and Equipment Guide. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any other questions, remember, there are three more short videos like this one and one long video that explains everything you need to know about light, yield, and rotations. Thanks for watching. And remember, growing can be tough, so call me before you quit.